I want to help you when you go to select a self-unloading hay trailer to know what to look for. There are several things that in a hay trailer that are different, even though in an ad they may look the same. I've got two hay trailers here. If you will notice, the red rhino sits higher. You'll also notice the frame of the red rhino is quite a bit wider than this trailer. This makes this trailer, the red rhino, more stable. So we don't have to lower our cradle. The cradle is the part that the hay slides on. We don't have to lower that because we're not top heavy. We do that by making the frame wider. Now, what that allows us to do is put a bigger hinge. The hinge on this trailer is two and seven eighths pipe that's sleeved with three and a half. The hinge on this trailer is four inch pipe sleeved with four and a half. And there's only two moving parts on this trailer. That is the hinge and the latch system, so both of those better be good. Now let's talk about the latch for a minute. You could have 1,500 pound bales. Heck, I know some guys with silage bales that weigh 2,000 pounds. And let's say you get six, seven, eight on a hay trailer. That's a lot of weight. The only thing that holds that hay on that trailer until you're ready to dump it is the latch system. Now the latch is right here. The latch bar extends over to the cradle. With a lot of weight over time, you're bouncing around hay fields, creates a lot of metal fatigue where this latch bar ties into the main tube. Over time, if there's too much metal fatigue, it will crack and break. So a trader that only has one latch is much more susceptible to that. Red Rhino, we put two latches. We put one on each end of the frame. It cuts the metal fatigue in half and disperses the weight of the hay on the trailer. Lights are susceptible to getting knocked off, getting the wires chewed by cattle. So what we did to protect that is we put our lights inside of a light bar. It's behind the bumper so there's no way you can bump it. The wiring's all inside so there's no wires exposed at all. Tailpiece is very important. This is the first thing that gets bent on a hay trailer. What we did to prevent that from happening is we put the same material that we use in the frame on the tailpiece. I promise you, you won't bend this tailpiece. Now, the most important thing, the backbone of the trailer is this tube that runs the length of it. Now, Red Rhino, you can be assured, always uses a 3 8 wall, 8 and 5 8 tube. A lot of our competitors only use a quarter inch. Well, that may not sound like a lot, but it's around nine pounds per foot difference in the steel that's in it. Secondly, there is some hay traders on the market that have started to use a eight inch square tube and they're only using a 3 16 wall. Now, that is 14 pounds a foot difference. So you need to think about, if you're gonna buy a hay trailer, you want it to last, you never wanna replace it. So buy the heaviest, status, best built trailer you can. And we think that's the Red Rhino. Why a self-unloading hay trailer versus a flatbed? Well, a self-unloading hay trailer is more efficient. It's quicker to load and quicker to unload and quicker to haul. And it eliminates the need for a second tractor at your destination or you having to haul your tractor from the hay field to the destination. The Red Rhino comes with several safety features. It's equipped with safety chains, a locking coupler, and when you haul the hay, there's no need to tie the hay down. You load it and it rides in the cradle. The Red Rhino self-unloading hay trailer is very easy to load. You simply spear your bale and from the rear, you set it on the cradle you push it forward, you pick up the next bale, use it to slide the first one forward, and you repeat the process until the trailer is full. This entire process should take three to five minutes to load the trailer. At that point, there's no need to tie the hay down. It sits securely in the cradle. You get in your pickup and you go to your destination. At the destination, there's no tractor needed to unload. You simply pull the lever, it unloads itself, and it'll leave it into a windrow. And that's how easy it is. We've talked about the original Red Rhino hay trailer. It's the heaviest built, safest, fastest way to move hay there is. 
But we have some customers that want to have the ability to unload individual bales of hay. This is for you guys that have multiple pastures or you have your pastures divided off. So we have a new product. It's called the Individual Dump Red Rhino. With this trailer, you can unload one bale here, go across the fence line, unload another bale, two, whatever you desire. But it's just as fast and efficient as the original Red Rhino. Let me show you how easy it is. That's all there is to it.